That's an episode of Running Wild with Bear Grylls that you shot for Red Nose Day special on NBC. The man responsible for that incredible charity also happens to be the writer of films like Four Weddings and a Funeral, Love Actually, Notting Hill. Please welcome Richard Curtis. Was that too long to walk? I'm sorry. It was quite a long way. Yeah, we should get one of those moving <laughs> sidewalks like the airports have to keep you moving on. You just stand on it and it could get you here faster. This most beautiful girl thing. Um, <laughs> I think you've got the better eyes. I'm not being cheeky about this. Oh, she does. Yeah, oh, I think for, the best eyes. Sure. But imagine how pretty you would have been with her people. Yeah. <laughs> imagine that. Imagine that combination. Nobody on Instagram is going to make that happen now. <laughs> uh, exactly. Yeah, you'd be so much prettier with my eyes. <laughs> I would be. But I'm the only brown-eyed child in my family. Wow. I've cried many a tear oh, over no. brown eyes. But it would imagine what I'd look like with her face, though. I mean, that's... <laughs> if, if we're going to switch you things like up... look like Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's switch th things up. Um, let's talk about Red Nose Day. This is... Uh, you started this, and uh, explain why and, and what is happening. It's such a great idea. <clears throat> well, it started a long time ago, 1985, and then we just had this idea of doing a long telethon which would be as funny as it could possibly be, give as much entertainment and raise money, because I'd been to Ethiopia during a famine in 1985 and seen things you shouldn't see, and I'm very aware every day that kids all over the USA, kids all over the world have unbelievably tough lives, and sometimes it's easy to solve that thing. So we started doing entertainment and raising money on shows and then selling red noses. We needed a symbol, and that was a comical one. Uh, and then people started doing events, and we've made, I think, $1.3 billion wow. so far. That's fantastic. Um, That's fantastic. Well, of course, <laughs> as it were, it's, it's not us, it's, it's them. It's the public who are always so generous. And so we've got another Red Nose Day on May 25 here in the USA. Right, so it's the entire night NBC is putting on, right? So yep. explain your part of it with uh, the Bell Bear Grylls running wild. Um, and there's something else. Going Starts on. with the snappily entitled American Ninja Warrior Celebrity Red Nose Special. Yes. And that is fantastic, actually. Some people found the course very easy. The Olympic decathlete Ashley, he strolled it. Mina Savari from American Beauty found it the most traumatic experience of her entire life. Yes. <laughs> um, and then they said, Can you get any sucker to do the Bear Grill show? Um, I thought, Well, if you want to. Uh, if you want to pull the wool over anybody's eyes, um, ask Julie. And that was... We had an amazing time. I mean, And you were with her there? Yeah, I was, but not in the hard bits. No, no, no. Not in the but hard when you bits. Think I just watched her suffer. Outdoor African adventure, yeah. life, peril... I mean, of course you thought of me. Yeah. I would just... Of course. That's you, that's if the first... If there's ever been a woman who'd look good being eaten by a crocodile, <laughs> that would be... It was so it was in Kenya. This this bridge that you went across. Thank you for saying bridge. It's crazy. I don't know if we have B-roll of that, but she walks across this rope that is. You don't have that. Well, you'll have to watch it because it's incredible what you had to do. And you had the. Well, I mean, we should tell people you're carrying vaccines. You're bringing vaccines to people that that desperately need it. And and these. Children are dying from diarrhea and just things that don't they don't have to die from. So you you're bringing this these vaccine it, that was so amazing. So yeah, I mean, these a vaccine like this just costs five dollars and saves someone's life. life. And we wanted to show how tough it is to get them out to people. And <laughs> so Karen. well, we had this. Ref I mean, this incredible. Bill Gates has developed this incredible refrigeration system for these vaccines because they have to stay a certain temperature. And it was maybe 110 degrees or 15 degrees. I mean, it was so hot. And so to travel... You were bright pink. <laughs> I, was, I, was so hot. I thought you looked beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I put on my red nose and you couldn't even couldn't tell the difference <laughs> between my face and my red nose. It was very hot. So we... this. So I had this cooler that had vaccines in it and we get them to the kind of farthest villages and word gets around and we got there and just the place was teeming with families and kids and everybody's there because they know it's an opportunity to get the vaccines that of things that will absolutely save their lives and change their lives and it's just incredible so that's um what we did and one of the things we had to do to get there was walk across 
a rope. The worst bridge like, in a, history. A rope that, that even if you're not scared of heights, which you're scared of heights, but there's a crocodile down below and you're just walking on a rope, which I couldn't believe you did that. There's, there's all kinds of things that you, that you went through that I couldn't believe you did, but I was really- I still can't believe I did it, yeah. frankly. Because I'm not brave, and I am very afraid of heights. And um, I was thinking Bear should have taken my bag. <laughs> I, thought, I thought the same thing. I was like, you're not only doing this, but you have the vaccines. Why, why don't you give it to him? Kind of on one side of yeah. me. It was, yeah. But, the, I mean, the thing is, when we did Notting Hill, Julia was, you know, single and desperate. Um, <laughs> 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 no, that's not true, anyway. But she is... You know, she is a wonderful mum now, and you were so sweet. I asked, why have you done this? And she said, to impress my husband, yes. uh, which I thought was very sweet. But I think that you really did feel that the pain of the journey was a way of demonstrating something that, as entertainment, something that you felt was important in terms of lives saved. And when we get there, when we get to the end of this, you know, at times perilous and at times magnificent journey, I mean, these people waiting for us. It was just incredible. It was like seeing the person you love the most in the world, but you've actually never met before waiting at the end of this. I mean, it was just the most astounding revelation of it all made so much sense, what we had gone through for yeah. days. It was incredible. It, it was, it really is. I can't wait for people to see it because that is, it, it is, there's, I love the Running Wild with Bear Grylls anyway, but watch I, it. I love it when I'm in my living room. Yes, yes. <laughs> that is uh, something I would never, ever do. I, I could not believe you did that. But I was going to ask you. Would I do that? Whether or not you'd no, like to No, I would go never do. No, 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 oh. no. He's an incredible <laughs> person. I, he is such a rock solid human being. Yeah. And he really, um, there's something kind of like some weird mind bending psychology where he just goes, yeah, come on, let's, come on. And you go, okay, okay. <laughs> Why would you do that? Why yeah. would any person with any sense? He's Do always these got a things. Rope, doesn't yeah. he? He's he always, always got has, a rope. Yeah. He thinks that's the solution to it. And everything. when you kind of go, can I take this harness? Nope, nope, because they're always strapping you to something so you don't, you know, fall a thousand feet to your death. Yeah. No, he's, uh, he definitely does. Well, like you said, it, you know, like if he falls and he dies, you're out there by yourself. Well, you were there, so you, yeah, you could have been, been there. With, <laughs> but it's been like there. you. He was somewhere upriver with the sun cream. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, we have to we have to take a break. When we come back, we're going to raise some money for Red Nose Day. <laughs>